York's character lies in its Roman and Viking past. The secrets of the past are all around. With a little careful observation, historic York comes to life. We took a closer look at comparing what the Romans and the Vikings did for York. I met up with a Roman soldier and a Viking warrior to hear what they had to say. What did you bring to York? What did I bring to York? Happiness. Disease. <laughs> I, just a minute, excuse me. We took over after you'd gone, there was, what were those people called in between? The uh, sa sa begins with, Saxons. 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 They left behind one of the scuddiest, dirtiest places I've ever seen in my life. We rebuilt that. You started with a nice, clean area, nothing to, nothing to mess up really. We got it right, we sorted it out. Right. Accommodation, houses, proper food, meat and two veg, none of that honey roast or mouse rubbish we ate properly. Oh, Look at that, hey, Look, healthy delicate. eating. We knew how to eat well then, of course. Yeah, yeah, the culture as well, we used to make things and with our little clay pots, we'd make pots. Um. What, away what we Sorry. What about the roads? Who's responsible for the roads? Again, the Romans. When we weren't being soldiers, we were full-time builders. We built roads. We put thousands of miles of roads across this country. Uh, well, you might have made them. Just a minute. Did you give them safely? names? No. They didn't need that. People remember us in York now today because we name the roads and we give them exciting names. Different yeah. names that people come say, what does that mean? What does that mean? They don't know. Chilly Gate, Goodram Gate, with my what my gate. Fantastic, it's people talking. They know we were here. But why would they want to? Well, because obviously we helped build the city that people are walking around today now. Could you explain the story behind Whitmer What We Gate? The story behind Whitmer What We Gate? Yeah, excuse me, it's my go minute now. Whitmer What We Gate is the shortest street in York, okay? And we thought that was very silly to bother having a street that was only very short. So we called it, call that a street, it's not a street, it's not big enough to be a street. What about the sanitation? How did you cope oh with dear, that? Can I go Again, no, another Roman invention. We realised that diseases, you know, we had to have fresh water. It was symbolic, of course, as well, cleansing our sins, because we did really. You know, we had a, a moral science to us and ethics. Well, all right, Again, we I weren't quite as well. clean, I'll give you that one. But hey, we still had a good life, our toilet system worked. But so do ours, they're still in York today. Many of them still work in it. How did you use the toilet system? What, me? Yes. <clears throat> well... Do oh, you want to admit this? Well, all right, our toilets weren't quite as good. Um, a hole in the ground. Yeah, a hole in the ground. We had a hole flowing in the water. Communal toilets, of course, because we did like to sit and chat to yeah. each other. Well, exchange our views. Just a minute. So you all sat together on the toilet well, chatting? Well, we did. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Hey, yeah. Communal brother. Something not quite right about that, really. Well, and we actually um, we used to wipe our bottoms properly as well. Nice with, handful with of moss. wet leaves, leaves and moss. Yeah. Insect. What do you them. use? Sponges. Sp sponge. Sponges. Sponges. A sponge. A sponge. Tell them the rest. Tell, in fact, have you got one? Uh, uh, just, just oh, don't. I, I, I uh, uh, let's. This. No. Oh, have you? What a shame. A sponge well, on a stick. A sponge on a stick. Problem. But was it your sponge on a stick? Was it your son? You pop it. Well, they were very expensive. And was that just shared between your family, or was it the rest uh, of the this village? This was... Well, I suppose in, in your own house you would have maybe one, maybe two, between the, the family. But in the public baths and uh, public latrines, then it was shared baths. between whoever happened what, to What, you had baths? Out. We had baths, yeah. Thank you, Murray. If I could ask yeah. you, uh, what still stands today in York that you, we can say that you brought to the city? Ah, no, that's a bit of a hard one, isn't it? Um, luckily for us, there's actually a fantastic museum um, from our times. Mm. Not much left, I've got to admit that, mm. but you can actually see a few of the remains that were there, because we did build from wood, which... You did, and, and something else, I believe. What's that? What else was it used to build your walls with? Um, well, it's what smelt door. quite a lot, I believe. All right, yeah. We yeah. Used see, horse, where you had stone. Horse manure, it was very good, very sticky, it worked mm. well. Stone was some... Just have to make sure it wasn't too close to the fire. Mm. Yes, no, I think uh, I think we win on that one. OK, I'll give you that one. Must be something we win on, though. Fighting. Having been enlightened by two colourful historians, I have pondered over their accounts. Who is the greatest of them all, the Romans or the Vikings? It seems impossible to decide who played the biggest part in helping us to create historic York as we know it today. But both parties are giving us so much to think about.